And here they come, the Koreans, shaping for the shot. And that's cleared the crossbar, much to the relief of Danny Vukovic. It was Pak Chol Mun with a shot from distance. Another long ball forward. Chance here for the Koreans. Vukovic has been beaten. Disaster for the Oli Roos. North Korea take the lead early, exactly what Graham Arnold was hoping to avoid, but there were a couple of warning signs, and now it's a mountain to climb for Australia. Well, you could hear Graham Arnold on the sound effects mic imploring Dario Vidicic to make an extra effort to win the header. And it was too easily cleared out of defence from North Korea. Mark Bridge at the moment looks a trifle isolated. And it's quite obvious these Australian players are struggling to get used to the pitch. Out comes Vukovic. Gets ahead to the ball. The shot was on target. Cleared off the line. Almost number two for North Korea. And at the moment, the Oli Roos are living dangerously. Adrian Leia. There in the nick of time. A real set-piece opportunity here. How strong have Australia been in set-pieces so far? Dropped into the edge of the... Six yard box, the shot was blocked, I think it was Broxham. In comes a throw from John Quack Ick. It's fallen nicely, the volley over the bar. Another half chance for North Korea, Vukovic not happy this time. It's Pak Chol Min, the goal scorer, who does look like a lively customer in and around the edge of that penalty area. Not the biggest player on the field, but certainly a tricky opponent. John Quack Ick with a good run. And they're in behind again. Vukovic is out. And a let off there for Australia. It could have been two. Out of midfield, Kim Cook Jin. He's caught the eye as well. Puck Chol Min with the goal. But this beautiful penetration from midfield, he left Nikolai Topor Stanley wondering where on earth he disappeared to. The finish was terrible in the end. Well, Planner Hand's been beaten pointless there. Danger here for Australia, side netting. Vukovic had it covered. Uh, Trent McLenahan was embarrassed, really, on that far side by Kim Kyong-il. And the shot was on target. Vukovic was watching it all the way, but again, another sign that the Koreans are prepared to have a go from distance. Yun yong il on this occasion. That's a good 25 metres out from goal. Game between these two teams in Newcastle. A lot of short passing, but... Not decided the ball over the top could produce an outcome, and that's how it's worked out. But the mistake has been made in the meantime. Here's Troisi on the left foot. The shot was on target. And it was Bridge, I think, with trying to get on to the rebound. But Korea, with some desperate defence, saved the day. The best chance of the match for the Oli Roos. Very, very good chance for the Oli Roos. You can see even that pass from Mark Bridge just bounced away from Troisi more than was certainly the intention to He nevertheless got a good shot on target. Real sense of urgency about the Australian team now. The shadows lengthening across the entire pitch. The long throw from Milligan. Looking for Topol Stanley at the near post. And Ri Myong Guk had to scramble there. Another dead ball opportunity for the Oli Roos. Just over 20 minutes left on the clock. It's Sarkis as always. Trying to carve out the opening. We saw Nikolai Topol Stanley waste a decent opportunity a minute or so ago. There's plenty of pushing and shoving going on at the edge of the box. In it comes from Sarkis. It's been floated deep across the face of goal. It's gone in. Australia have equalised. I'm not sure if it was Milligan. Milligan again. Sarkis Milligan with to the Milligan. Header. And the Oli Roos are back on level terms. Milligan making that looping run 
around the defence. Saki's found him with a beautifully lobbed free kick. It has been the most reliable source to goal for this Olympic Games campaign for Australia and has reignited the hopes of the Mark Milligan-led team or was it Adrian Leia? Either way, it's gone in. Milligan's header across the face of goal. There might have been a touch late. Australia have equalised. Massive relief for the players. And all of a sudden, things are looking bright. The captain launches it long. Diagonal ball. I've got numbers over there. And Nikolai Topol Stanley, what a good defensive header that was. And it comes again. It's come off Zadkovic. And there is the full-time whistle. We're off to the Olympic Games after 10 months, 14 games, and a magical mystery tour from East Asia to the West. The job has been done. The Oli Roos are going to Beijing. Full-time here in Pyongyang. North Korea won. Australia won.